Good morning, class. Today, we will find our purpose and meaning of life. Do you ask the question, why am I here in this world? Or, what is my life's purpose? I hope that through this video, you will be able to know your purpose in life. Before you get to know your purpose, we'll get to know our mission and our vision. What is the difference between the mission and the vision? What is mission? Mission is a task or job that someone is given to do. It is a ministry commissioned by a religious organization to propagate its faith or carry on humanitarian work. It is a specific task with which a person or a group is charged. How about vision? What is vision? Vision is something that you imagine, a picture that you see in your mind, or something that you see or dream, especially as part of a religious or supernatural experience. It also pertains to something about the future. For a traveler, the mission is the map, and the vision refers to your destination. For the cook, the mission is your procedure, and your vision is the finished product. And for the Christian, Mission pertains to our objectives, while the vision refers to our goals. Oftentimes we ask the question, what on earth am I here for? And we ask our friends, the books, or even our experiences to answer that question, only to find out that the reason of our existence does not depend on us, but it goes back to God who created us. Oftentimes, God is speaking to us why He created us. But the question is, are we listening? I hope that today, you will be able to listen to what God has to say. He has given wisdom to require in this book, The Purpose Driven Life. What on earth am I here for? Our mission basis is found in two biblical verses or passages. The first one is the great commandment. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. This is found in Matthew chapter 22 verses 37 to 39. And the great commission, it states, that therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. It's found in Matthew 28, 19 to 20. What is our first mission? It is coining the words to love the Lord your God with all your heart. Our first mission is worship. What is worship? Worship is defined as celebrating God's presence and honoring Him with our lifestyle. In Romans 12, 1, it says, Offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. Worship can be done by going to church through prayer, or by singing praise and worship songs for the Lord. It is our act of worship that is holy and acceptable into the sight of God, as long as we have pure hearts and good intentions in worshiping Him. The second purpose is coined in the words, love your neighbor as you love yourself. The second purpose According to Rick Warren and to the Bible is ministry. What do we mean when we talk about ministry? 
ministry can be defined as meeting needs with love. In 2 Corinthians 4.1, Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, and we do not lose heart. That is, feeding others, sharing what we have, and loving those even who are unlovable. That is our ministry, whether it be for the poor or for the people you serve, depending upon your job or calling. The third mission or purpose is coining the words, go and make disciples. Our third purpose is evangelism. It is sharing Christ with others. Evangelism is sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with those who don't yet have a personal relationship with Him. In Romans 15, 20, and 21, it has always been my ambition to preach, preach the gospel where Christ was not known, according to the words of St. Paul. That's why Paul encourages us. That is why Paul encourages us to share the gospel to other people. He said, one theologian once said, every heart with Christ is a missionary, and every heart without Christ is a mission field. The third, fourth purpose is coining the words, baptizing them. Our fourth purpose is fellowship. True fellowship happens when people are known, cared for, held accountable, and encouraged in their spiritual journey. Of course, we need to fellowship with other people. Ephesians 2.19, it says, You are no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens with other believers. Our purpose is to have fellowship with other people, to communicate with them, to worship with them, to learn from them, and to eat with them. And the last purpose is coining the words, teaching them to obey. It is discipleship. What do you mean by discipleship? Discipleship is building up or strengthening believers in their quest to become Christ, to become like Christ. In Hebrews 6.1, it says, Let us leave the elementary teachings about Christ and to go on to maturity. When we receive Jesus, we are like baby Christians, and we need to be discipled in order for us to grow in our spiritual lives. And we can do that by discipleship. We can attend Sunday school or Bible studies and be trained about the Word of God. So what are our five purposes? First one is worship. We were planned for God's pleasure. The second one is fellowship. We were formed for God's family. We have also discipleship. We were created to become like Christ. And second to the last is ministry. We were shaped for serving God and His people. And finally, evangelism. You are made for a mission. That is to share the gospel, the good news to others. So our God's purpose is to give God pleasure. That is worship. To be a member of God's family. That is fellowship with other believers become like Christ, that is discipleship. Fulfill your ministry, that is of course, the ministry that God has given us. And finally, fulfill your mission, which is to share the gospel of Christ to others so that they may receive salvation and life eternal. So, your purpose in life is to find your purpose. And when you found it, you give your whole heart and soul to it. God bless you as you find your purpose in life. This has been Sir JB. Thanks for watching. God bless and see you again 
on the next video. To God be the glory.